This isn't a fully comprehensive review or endorsement. We thought you might like to see all the different cycles that are out there and where they can take you. We lent Jim an Easy Rider e-trike in January 2021. He cycled 533 miles over the next three months. Jim was so chuffed to bits, having not cycled for 45 years, that he bought his own e-trike. This is Jim. And this is his trike. It's a Jorvik JMT6. Jim, what are the best things about this Jorvik trike? It's the pure fun and the fact that I can get off-road, I can get down dirt tracks like this, I can get away from the traffic, I can enjoy the countryside and the tranquility. If I hadn't got a motor, I wouldn't even think about it because my legs and my hips just can't do it anymore. Mm -hmm. So, front wheel, suspension. They're all this year's, this year's cards. Metal basket. Yeah, that comes with it. Light. Which are hardwired. Brilliant. And then. You can turn them off or turn them on. Parking brake. Standard brake. Two parking brakes. Two parking brakes. Standard brake. Gear in. That's where the information is on here. And we come down. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's a real nice shot. <laughs> so Jim has replaced these for slightly larger ones. Complete with an authentic mud stick design. It's not as proper mud. Uh, so this was the this was the seat that it came with. And then this kind of basket at the back. That's brilliant. This one weighs 40 kilos. Got it. That includes the battery. Got it. But I've got a spare battery in the back, so it probably weighs 40, 45, 46 kilos. Does it fit through your door? No. Okay. It fits through the garage, but won't fit through normal That's front doors. Front hub powered, battery here. Now we've got um, a few that are front hub powered like the easy rider that doesn't do very well if going up a hill no how are you finding this actually um not really a problem there are a couple of steep hills around here which are very steep and do take a little bit of pedaling if you can get up mm -hmm. so the easy rider that we were talking about so jim borrowed one uh, is a recumbent whereas this is a more traditional sit up and beg it's called but the difference with Jim's one, and you can tell me if I'm wrong, is how fat the tyres are. So, and the fact that it's got suspension. So that this is actually designed to go off-road. Yeah, basically. I mean, it's got four inch, four inch uh, uh, wide tyres on 20 inch wheels. Um, they're supposed to be relatively puncture proof as yet fingers crossed i haven't had a puncture um and it's designed it's robust so it's designed to go off-road to a certain degree maybe you could think well yes it's blinking heavy and therefore the one thing i would like to do is be able to transport it to say somewhere like monster head and go on their trails or tissington and obviously i can't ride it that far because it would just be impossible um, and I can't put it in my sports car. If I took it to the shops, then I wouldn't leave it outside because <laughs> you know, it's 3,000 quid's worth and yes, I could lock it up in bits and pieces, um, but at the moment, no, I don't. What's, um, what's the range on the battery? At the moment, I'm finding I'm doing about 20 miles each time I'm out and I've used roughly a third of the battery. So, and that's and that's using quite a lot of the of the of the motor, and I'm going off road and uphill and down dale and bits and pieces. So I'm guessing that probably 
around about between 50 and 60 miles on one battery. It's a little and often. It's, it's finding a quiet space to do figures of eight, nice and gently, get used to it, and then just take it on a bit at a time. You don't have to do 50 miles, half a mile, 50 yards, 500 yards, and just build on it. Do you like trikes? Hey buddy! Nom 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 nom! <laughs>